Hey people and welcome to Frozen Gaming. Here we are continuing on with Stanley Parable. I completely disobeyed the narrator last time, so I don't know, let's somewhat obey him and somewhat not. Here we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Going through here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The game seems to like you to enter your door on your left. Even with the coloured doors, the coloured door you're supposed to go through is the one on the left. Yet there was not a single person here Tips either. Tips getting fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. A broom closet? Hey, broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around. What do you mean, back. nothing? Okay, got. A shifter, they got. It. What's that? A staple gun? Nothing here. No choice Rolls to of make, paper. No path to follow. Screwdriver. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. A cable spool. Another wrench. What's that? What's that? It was baffling that Stanley Didn't was still that just is. sitting in the broom closet. The broom closet. He wasn't even doing mop anything. Bucket. At least if there was something to interact some with. Thick he black cable. In some way. Some As pliers, is, I'm guessing. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. F. <laughs> yeah, I like this narrator. Are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why I'm me? I'm not Please doing offer nothing. Me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm observing this flayed out co uh, cardboard box if you don't mind. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Well, what's up I there? I would have thought to mention it. <sighs> Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go <laughs> talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> there isn't a broom closet ending, Stanley is there? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey, he that's not nice. He got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Yeah, and Michael Bruce. Drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I don't go well, pointing at your bad points. Well, I a conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. That's very thoughtful Hello? of you. Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Have you finished? Is there a broom closet ending? I want the broom closet ending. I want the broom closet ending. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the... P you too? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
an entire species of invalid. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Why am I having that tune? Your fault, narrator! Oh, narrator! Please to narrate! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I didn't! I think I just broke the game. I seriously think I just broke the game. Crap! <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I shall end this episode. Here. <laughs> 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 it's fun picking on the narrator, and it's fun. It's even more fun when the narrator actually responds to some of the stuff you do. I love this game. Anyways, I'm gonna end this in episode here with this unfortunate ending of me breaking the game because I can no longer progress. Or go back, or get further narration of me and my shenanigans in the closet, in the broom closet. And yeah, so that I'm going to end this video and say I hope you enjoyed this video. And until I see you guys next time, stay frosty. <laughs> of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> oh damn, I failed. Heartless bastard.